Hi, I'm Victor and uh, today I'm going to show you a little demonstration of a note I created. It is uh, randomizing curtain walls and it is a custom node. It is made with one uh, big Python script and it is a demonstration video so I'm going to demonstrate um, how it works. I'm probably going to share the script in uh, the description. But if you're interested in uh, how to make your own note, uh, tell me in the comments. Uh, tell me and I'll probably create a video about how to create that note. Um, if you're interested in this. So how does it work? Uh, it needs a curtain wall. So we need to select an element like this. We select the wall and connect it to the select element. Units factor. This is actually because Revit internally is running in feet and my project currently is in millimeters. So for units factor, I'm going to just enter the scale. So 34.1 uh, millimeters is one feet, one foot. Uh, vertical seat, horizontal seat and Boolean seat. This is our, our randomization um, seats. If you know a little bit about randomization, you know that you have a seed. So I'm going to use an integer slider for these. I'm just uh, copying the slider. Number of, this is uh, the number of lines that I like to create, but it's not the exact number actually. So let's say I want to create 15 lines, grid lines on my wall. One segment only, this is a Boolean value. And I'm going to show you the difference between uh, one segment only, but this is the same as in Revit when you create uh, Curtain grid, you have uh, all segments, one segment, and all except picked. So, one segment only is this thing. Uh, delete all grid lines, it's another Boolean. I'm just going to copy this one. I'm going to say false on this. It is uh, restarting the script, I'm going to show you in a second. And angle um, one and angle two are uh, the curtain wall angles, you know. Oops. Uh, here you have this angle on the vertical and the horizontal grid. So if I run this, actually I need to specify angle for this. And now we have, uh, I'm going to close the property so you can see better. Now we have this uh, curtain wall. So if we change um, the vertical seat factor to another number, it's going to change like this. And if I change it back to one, it's going to be, uh, oops, it's zero now. Is going to be exactly the same as it was before. So you can use this for controlled uh, randomization. And I can change the horizontal seat as well, the Boolean seat. This is basically how it works. So why is vertical and horizontal? It's going to be very apparent when I change uh, all 
one segment only to false and run it again so now we have uh, this grid throughout the wall and if I only change the vertical seat you will see that the vertical grid lines are changing but the horizontal ones are staying the same and the same if I change uh, the horizontal seat the horizontal lines are going to change but the vertical lines are staying the same and if I change the boolean seat it's going to change the layout and I'm going to change it back to one segment only This is how it works. It also works on uh, curved walls. So let me switch on the properties again. If I create a uh, curved curtain wall here, you might have a nice dynamo. Let's adjust the height. I can select this wall now and run the script again it and you see it's working on a curved wall as well let's try to change uh, some of the values It tends to be a little bit slower on curved walls though. And yes, we can also change the number. And it also works on uh, multiple walls, but uh, I'm going to delete this wall. And I'm going to copy that one, like, let's say, three times. So, to be able to use it on uh, multiple walls, uh, we need to use select model elements or we can uh, actually use another method of selection I'm just going to use it like this actually nothing selected but it's giving me a whole lot of um, elements now because it's selecting the panels only so I'm going to drop an um, object type to filter the elements Revit elements wall and I'm going to check if the element is a wall And use a boolean mask to filter it. So if I type in filter, this is the first thing that pops up. Filter by boolean mask. So Now I'm going to have a list of three walls, hopefully. 
yes and I can connect this to the walls but if I just uh, run the script as it is right now it is changing only the first one so what do we do well we can go and use levels and still it's not working so basically we need to have uh, values for each of the walls so because we have three walls now like the unit factor is something that uh, you don't need to change mm, I didn't show actually um, the delete all grid lines if it's true it's going to delete all of the grid lines for all the walls that are that are selected so these two controls they work on all of the walls but the others we need to have uh, separate instances for the different walls so let me use uh, list create in this case let's say that we want uh, the same results for all the walls which is really something that you you'd like actually yeah let's make them different let's say that uh, the seeds are going to be different and here as well Let's duplicate this once again and select another number. And let's connect this vertical seat, horizontal seat, and boolean seat. So one segment only, yeah. Let's create a list for that one as well. Uh, so let's say that the first and the last wall are going to be one segment only, but uh, the second is going to have all segments, the entire length of the wall. number yes let's create a list for that one as well let's say that we want the first word half 10 grid lines and the second 8 and the third one let's say 25 I'm just uh, coming up with these numbers right now it's completely random uh, I'm going to switch to false delete all grid lines and I'm going to need a list for the angles actually two lists let's say that angle 2 is going to be 0 for all of them And angle one is going to be different. So now that we have set up this, let's run the script and see what happens. Wow. 
waiting for the magic. <laughs> okay, the result is exactly as expected. This is the change of the angle of the grid lines. As you can see, 15 degrees here, 30 degrees here. Of course, we can change this to minus 30 if we want to. It's uh, recalculating um, all the walls now, so that's why it's taking a little bit uh, more time compared to one wall only. And yeah, this is this is it basically. We can of course uh, change the seats. We can uh, change the number. Let's say that we want the first one to have 20 lines and these are the curtain grids of each wall the output of the node so you can uh, try doing something else afterwards to continue the workflow actually a while ago I created a um, video about randomizing um, the types of uh, each curtain panel. So I'm going to put uh, a link to this video as well. I'm going to try to put it on the screen. Not sure how to do this uh, in the moment, but I'll try. And combining the two techniques uh, can give us uh, a lot of opportunities to play with these randomized uh, walls. Of course, we can go here and delete the grid line if we don't want something. We can all we can always change it manually afterwards. You know how to. Uh, I guess you know how to work with curtain walls and grid lines in Revit. So this is it uh, from me. If you have some tips, uh, some suggestions, you can put them in comments. If you didn't like the video, you know what to do. If you liked it, you can press the like button. You can subscribe for more videos like this if you want to. I'm sure you know how, how does it work. So this is it from me now. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.